Hey guys, today I'm opening up this Arceus Mythical Collection box. Now, once again, these are Generations packs, which don't have any code cards inside of them. But I do have some code cards to give away. Some cards that I had left over from previous videos. First though, we have the winners of last video. Uh, last video, I didn't ask a question. I kept it simple because I wasn't getting many replies. Which was kind of a mistake because I got a lot of replies on the last video, which was great but it meant I had to pick some at random so I literally ass assigned each comment a number uh, based on the order in which the comments were made and I put them into a random number generator the first winner was number two which was Noel Hermeshield the second winner was number three which is Kana Cool and the third winner was number five which was Krushna987. So congratulations guys. By the time this video goes live, you should have received a message from me with uh, the code. As for this video, I'll be giving away two Fates Collides cards uh, to the people who can help me with a little issue in the comments below. Uh, this box contains a card, a promo card of Arceus. Now Arceus is supposed to be some kind of god Pokemon in the Pokemon universe. And I never really liked that idea. I always dismissed it as sort of a uh, myth around the Pokemon made up by people. And in reality, Arceus is just a powerful Pokemon, which people like to say he's got, but he's not. I'm curious what you guys think about that. Is Arceus really a god? Is he just a Pokemon? Give me your arguments in the comments below and I'll pick my favorite ones and they will win uh, a Fates Collides code card. That's enough talking for me for now, let's uh, open this thing. Uh, first we have the Arceus pin. I'm never too interested in the pins myself, but they're a fun extra. Here we have the Arceus promo card. Now this does come with a code card, but I really like to use this Arceus myself. Because it's a, a very versatile card which can work in pretty much any deck. It has two abilities. One is Type Switch, which allows it to be any type for basically two turns. Which uh, can give you a nice advantage against uh, any kind of opponent. And then it has Power Blast. Four energy for 120 damage. Isn't that good? Especially since you also have to throw away an energy to do so. But combine it with the type switch and you can basically do 240 damage in two turns at the cost of one energy. So it's an interesting card and I look forward to playing with it. And we have the two packs. Let's start with Venusaur. Gives me a bit more room to work here. Our last video with the Steam Siege, we didn't get very lucky. So I'm hoping Generations with the extra Radiant Collection slot is going to make up for it. Here we go. Snow Runt. Red card. Cloister. I realized every Generations pack I opened so far has had a shelter in it. So I'm expecting at least two more shelters today. We have Ghastly, Krabby, Lightning Energy. I didn't even know you could get two energies in a single pack. So no shelter then. That's a first. <laughs> but we're, we're not done yet. We have Reverse Hollow Metapod. I think I already have that in Reverse Hollow. Not sure. And another flurry on the X. We already have one back there. But that is, it's still on the X, so very nice to pull. And our last card. A Raichu Hollow. That's a nice card. N now that I look at it, the whole card is hollow. Not just the picture. Do you see that? See if I can get that on the... Look. 
So the whole card is hollow, not just the, the picture. I'm not sure what it is. Might be a misprint or something, or maybe it's supposed to be like that. I'm not sure. That is interesting. I have to look that up. So those are already better pulls than we what we got in Steam Siege last video. And we have one more pack to go. Esper, Pokemon Center Lady, never understood why they don't just call that Nurse Joy, but sure. Another Cloister, so no shelters today, just Cloisters. <laughs> Lightning Energy, and there's our shelter. No Generations video without a shelter, I guess, it's our Fates Collide Dicklet right here. And we have Clefairy. Geodude, a reverse hollow Tangela, and we have an Evil Tall from the Radiant Collection. A very nice card. It's like the. What card is that? The, the, it's from another set. It has the same attacks. I know this because I use it in my dark deck in the online game. But a different art style, so that's very nice. And last card, a Duck Trio. Very nice. Again, Generations, very kind to me. Especially comparing it to Steam Siege. <laughs> so those are some good cards. So let's get this beautiful Arceus in there as well. I really like that full art foil thing that Raichu seems to have as well. Again, we'll have to look into that. So that's it for now. Uh, again, if you want to win a code card for a Fates Collides pack, leave a comment below telling me uh, what you think we should consider Arceus. Is he a god? Is he not a god? Is he a cool Pokemon or not? Just It uh, doesn't matter. Just give your opinion and I'll pick my favorite comments as the winners. So thank you very much for watching and have a very nice day.